Welcome to the first episode of Air Pollution TV. My name is Amrit. Let's talk about air pollution. So this is an air pollution map that I made. Um, this area we're looking at is North, North India, Pakistan, a little bit of Afghanistan, uh, Nepal, Bhutan, and Bangladesh. So the point of this map is to explain and convey air pollution data, air quality data, which is very, very complicated at times when you just portray them in terms of uh, AQI values or micrograms per meter cube values. Uh, this map gets rid of all of those numbers and translates it into emojis. And we all know what emojis are. A smiley face is good emoji, a sad face is bad emojis, or bad air quality. Uh, so this map, let's just dig into it. Let's see what we find. So as you can see here, you see uh, several emojis across the board. Some are angry ones. So Gwalior, Allahabad, and Gaia here, you see air pollution is, is bad, according to the sad faces here. Um, and you see fires here across most of eastern Pakistan, and also a few sporadic fires across India, and one here in Nepal, and a bunch of them here in Jharkhand, and some down here in Odisha as well. Um, so let's just dig down a little bit and see what we can uncover right now. So let's zoom into New Delhi. So New Delhi has quite a few air quality stations um, for India. Most Indian cities have one, two, or three stations. If you have, they have any. Um, quite a few smaller towns and cities have none. So here we are. It's going to zoom in. Great. So this is each emoji represents one air quality station. And these aren't the low cost air quality sensors that people have in their homes. Each of these represent the air quality stations that are run by either by the Indian government with the Central Pollution Control Board. There, that's the pollution agency that monitors air pollution in the country or the US Embassy, which also has a bunch of air pollution networks across India and other countries. So as you can see here, uh, we see one smiley face up here, um, quite a few sick guys, right? So as you can tell, air, um, it's only sep middle of September right now. As we enter air pollution season for India, primarily, which just means entering winter, um, and air pollution becomes a much, much serious problem really quickly. Um, so yeah, that, at, at a very glance, without looking at any numbers or any data, you can get a sense that air pollution is not, it's not healthy. So let's zoom out and know Faridabad down here looks, looks really bad, it's puking. And if you want to get a scale of what the air pollution levels mean, click on this guy on the top left, and you can see the heart all the way down to a very hazardous sign. So we are somewhere in this range, which is good, moderate, and unhealthy for sensitive groups. So the air pollution levels, as you can see on the map, is unhealthy for sensitive groups for most of New Delhi. So if you have asthma, if, you have, uh, if you're prone to air pollution um, and have other respiratory illnesses, uh, or if you spend a lot of time outdoors or are very active, um, probably get a face mask or just be aware that air pollution is a concern um, for you. Um, but real quick, I want to talk about the fires that we see north of New Delhi. We've got a fire here, a fire up here. Uh, let's zoom in on this fire. So the, the point of this map isn't to give you all the answers, but it's to allow you to explore what, whatever you see on the map. Um, so the air quality data that you see from these emojis are from official air quality data stations that I already explained to you. But some of them, like this is a, it's a smaller town in India, this doesn't actually have a real-time air quality monitoring station on the ground. This data actually comes from the World Health Organization. Uh, in 2016, they used satellite data for hundreds of countries around the world, I'm sorry, hundreds of cities around the world, and determined the average annual PM 2.5 uh, data, or air pollution values for that area. So the emoji corresponds to that, uh, the, the average 2016 PM 2.5 values. Um, yeah, so even without knowing PM 2.5 or maximum per meter cubed, you can get a sense of what air pollution level is right here and across the, across the country. But now, as I said, let's explore rather than get all the answers right away. So next, I want to look at fires because fires are very fascinating. Um, there are many different kinds, right? There are wildfires like the ones we saw in Vancouver and Oregon and Montana recently and also tons in Indonesia. Um, but what are these fires that we're seeing here in New Delhi? Let's, or north of New Delhi. Let's zoom in. Oops, there we go. 
And here you can switch the map to satellite view as well, at the very bottom, in the middle. And shortly, boom, there we go. So it's not just the political map, but you see the actual satellite imagery. So let's zoom in. So what you see, what looked like one fire is actually two fires on the ground. And we keep zooming in. Ah, we can get a sense of what, what's happening over here now. So at least this first one on the right, you see this is very clearly a brick clean, uh, a brick making factory. A lot of red, the round circle that the way you make bricks uh, in this part of the world. Um, yeah, so and clear, it's not typical because there are tens of thousands, if not many more, brick factories across India. Um, they're, any piece of them don't register a fire right now. So probably something um, has gone wrong or they just they have a fire at this point, which was detected by NASA's satellites. Uh, now let's look at the other guy. This thing over here, uh, it just looks like either the shrub might have been on fire or they might have had a larger than normal trash fire. Or these are also farms, these are farmlands. So it's conceivable, but although not likely, that this was a crop burning. Because usually crop burning happens at the end of har at the end of harvesting season, and that's not right now. And and when it is crop burning, you see tons and tons of fires in a row uh, across several Indian states. But this is an isolated fire, probably the shrub that you can see has caught fire. But hey, why are we talking about fires? Because where there is fire, there is smoke. And where there is smoke, there are pollutants. And pollution is just really, really bad for your health. Uh, it causes more than six and a half million deaths around the world. And that's if you combine outdoor and indoor air pollution levels. Um, yeah, so this is a map. Uh, I want to keep this really short. Air Pollution TV. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make these videos regularly for you. Uh, let's see how often it turns out to be. Uh, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. All the details are below. Um, and oh, I would like to give a shout out to OpenAQ uh, at openaq.org. That's the website. They are the, aggreg they are the aggregators of uh, air quality stations around the world. And uh, if you want to work on whether it's data analysis or visualization or really any research with air quality data, you should really check out OpenAQ because you get access to data from 51 countries and growing in real time and historical data um, in a way that it, it's free to access and it's, it's a very beautiful, easy to use API. So I'd recommend you check out OpenAQ.org uh, because without OpenAQ, none of what I do would be possible. So I'm just really grateful that OpenAQ does what they do. Um, and yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe. We're just getting started with Air Pollution TV. Um, I'm really curious to hear your feedback. Um, and yeah, let's, let's discover air pollution together. And if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.